In today's chess video, I am going to show you some secret little chess traps which will help you win more games. You need to watch this till the end because I also have a really interesting chess puzzle for you all. Let's see if you can solve that. So without further ado, let's get started with Chess Talk. Hello chess friends, I am Jitendra Advani. Firstly, congratulations, our Chess Talk channel now has more than 200k subscribers. I would like to thank each and every one of you for your incredible support. This wouldn't have been possible without you all. And in case you haven't yet subscribed, then hit that red subscribe button below this video right now. Okay, so the tricks I'm going to show you now can be played by Black in the famous Budapest Gambit variation. So let's get straight into it. White starts with a Queen's Pawn opening. We respond with knight to f6, white plays c4, the Indian game, and then we play pawn to e5, turning this into the Budapest defense. Now from here, the most obvious move will be to take this pawn. But there is another popular move that you might see from white and that is pawn to d5. He is trying to expand his control of the center and gain some space on the queen's side. In this position, our strategy would be to bring out our dark squared bishop and attack this weak f7 square. And it's always better, you know, to get your bishop out of this pawn chain first and then you can push this pawn forward to develop your other bishop. Anyways, now it's highly likely that your opponent would look to pin your knight by bringing out his bishop to g5. And that's exactly what you want to see because you have a secret little trap here. You're simply going to forget about your queen and move this knight to e4. If your opponent tries to be greedy and he grabs your queen without much thinking, then he will be shocked to see your next move, which is going to be bishop to f2. That's check and mate in just 5 moves. Going back, even if he recognizes this checkmate threat, he's still in big trouble because remember he has to prevent this mate and at the same time he has to save his bishop also. So he might come up with something like bishop to e3, but after bishop takes, pawn takes back, queen h4 check, white plays pawn to g3 which is the only legal move he has, we can then simply take this pawn with a knight. Pawn can't take because of this pin, so all in all you are in a very superior position. White's king is out in the open and you have so many attacking options. You should easily win it from here. Now let's go back and see another cool variation. In this position, most players as white will look to capture this pawn to gain an early advantage. Your strategy is going to be simple. You will keep adding attackers to this pawn and white will keep adding defenders so that he can hold on to this pawn advantage. Firstly, since he's attacking a knight, let's move it to g4, attacking this pawn. White will look to defend so he brings out his knight. Let me show you a quick trap that you can set up from this position as well. First, you can play d6, offering to trade off pawns. White will most likely take this because it's a great opportunity for him to get rid of this weak doubled pawn. After white takes, you can take back with your bishop. Now in this position, most average players start to get very uncomfortable with this knight. Hence, you can expect a move like h3 or g3. If he plays anything like this, then he's gone. Let me show you how. After h3, you will play the killer move, knight captures f2. You're double attacking the queen and the rook. So he will have to take with his king. But that's a blunder because after bishop to g3 check, it's a discovered attack on the queen. And unfortunately for white, the king cannot go back to support. So king will take the bishop and we will simply grab the queen like this. And you should easily win it from here. Okay, now let's go back and see another interesting variation. Now instead of playing d6, we can continue to attack this pawn. So we bring out our knight to c6. Again, this time white defends with his bishop. Now we will develop our dark squared bishop and give a check. The king can't move. He obviously can't block with his queen. And if he blocks with this knight or bishop, then he will lose a defender to this pawn. So the only option he has is to block with this knight. Knight to c3 is not such a good idea because if the bishop takes, then he will have to recapture with this pawn, which will ultimately destroy his pawn structure. So white will have to play knight to d2. From here, we will continue attacking this pawn. 
this time by bringing out our queen to e7. A very common continuation from white would be to push these pawns forward with the idea of trapping this bishop. So white will start off with pawn to a3. This is what we were looking for. From here, we can set up another deadly checkmate, which is called the Kininger trap. For the moment, we will ignore this bishop and instead capture this pawn with our knight. And if white decides to take your bishop, then he can pack his bags and go home because knight to d3 will be a beautiful smothered checkmate. Going back, even if white does not take your bishop and takes your knight instead like this, then you can simply take back with your knight. Still white cannot take your bishop because this checkmate threat still exists. So the best move for white would be to play e3, defending the d3 square with his bishop. After this, bishop takes knight check and queen takes back. And now if you look at the board, it's almost even Stevens. So even if white plays everything correctly, still you won't be behind in the game. You should definitely try out this trick in your games because most chess players will fall for these traps. Do let me know in the comments how it worked for you. Okay, so it's puzzle time. But before moving on to today's chess puzzle, I request you to show your support and like this video. We are targeting 2000 likes on this video. So come on guys, hit that thumbs up button right now. Okay, so here's the puzzle. In this position, it's your turn and you need to find the best move continuation for white. I will give you a hint this time. It's a checkmate in 8 moves. If you are able to find the solution to this puzzle, then share it in the comments below. Whoever gives the correct answer with the perfect explanation, I will be pinning that comment at the top so that everyone can see it. All the best guys, let's see how many of you can solve this. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and for some interesting chess tips, tricks and puzzles, you can like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram. Links are in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I shall see you in my next video.